hi and thanks for joining me today. I have an unboxing of a Paper Craft Society kit. I bought two of them recently because Craft World had a uh, coupon for a little bit of a discount and I've never used a Paper Craft Society kit before. So these are the very first two boxes that I have purchased. This one happens to be box number 15 and I did already open it up and sort of rearrange things just to make it a little bit easier for me to shoot this unboxing video. But I'm going to pop up some photos of um, kind of the out of box experience that you would get if you were to open up one of these boxes. and. Um, um, the main reason why I'm doing that is because I've sampled a lot of boxes over the la last few years and this, the, the Paper Craft Society box might be my favorite um, out of box experience because just everything from start to finish is just really well thought out, um, well put together, and it's just a very pleasant experience. So. We start off with a themed box, so the printing on the box actually matches the theme um, of the entire kit. Then you open the box, it has a Velcro closure, so everything will um, kind of stay neatly in place. We get a quote from the designer for that month, so Craft Up a Storm, The Mess Can Wait, that's from Linda Parker, who uh, designed and uh, I guess curated everything for this kit. And when you open it up, you will, um, the contents of the box come packaged in basically two uh, different things. One is, um, one set of items is packaged in the folio sort of envelope and um, the other is wrapped in tissue. And as I mentioned, I did take everything apart a little bit. So we've got an inspiration booklet. So you have um, photos of various projects that you can make using the the contents of this kit. I'm not going to take too close of a look at it just yet. I want to um, kind of just play with this kit myself first and then go back and look at the inspiration for even more ideas. Um, but I like I like just playing with it first myself uh, before seeing inspiration. And then we have this card, which is pretty cool. I think you get something like this in every kit. And so we have another quote from the designer. And then on the other side, we have top tips for die cutting. Um, and I think for every kit, there's um, another sort of set of uh, tips or you know little information um, blurbs and stuff. And I think if I end up buying a lot of these kits, I might like make a little mini album <laughs> or something to collect these in and have my own little um, crafty encyclopedia of sorts because I could totally see these little tips being really useful and and having a little book to kind of um, collect them all and, and reference them uh, will be a, a lot of fun. So. There's that. We get ink cubes, three of them, in colors that coordinate with the uh, theme for the month. And I'm guessing PS stands for Paper Craft Society, but I don't know if this is, there's no other printing, so I don't know if this is a dye uh, or a pigment or hybrid ink. Um, I'm going to have to maybe research that a little bit. But, um, but that'll kind of matter because dye inks tend to dry really quickly, whereas pigment inks uh, sit on top of your card, take a little bit longer to dry, but then um, that opens them up to being used with like embossing powders, for example. So, um, so you'll use them in slightly different ways, just depending on what um, what it's what the formulation is. And if you were to ink and then use a coloring medium, uh, you'll want to know whether it's dye or pigment or hybrid so that you know if you can use a water-based or alcohol-based um, coloring medium. And then we have little flatback pearls. These are really pretty sweet and, and dainty. They're um, small scale, which I love because I, I tend to use up the, um, my small little pearls more often than I use the large ones. And then diving into the folio, again, I mentioned um, I've sort of rearranged. So I took some of the stuff that was in the wrapped in the tissue with all of um, the stuff I just showed, and I put it in here because it fits, and um, then I can have more stuff. In fact, I'll probably put the booklet in here too and the informational card. But I'll just start right in the center here. So we get a stencil. Um, 
which I don't know if that's standard for these kids or if this one just has it as an extra, but uh, there are five different stencil patterns. So this is sprinkles, this is a polka dot. These are just straight lines, but you can use them you know, horizontally or vertically. And then this is um, like a little floral pattern, flowers and leaves, and it's sort of like this pattern here a little bit. And along the entire length at the bottom here is a picket fence um, stencil pattern. So that's really nice. Um, and then we get solid color card, which um, kind of thick. I mean, I would say maybe 80, 80, 90 pound. And so in total, there are six sheets in three different colors. And these are A5 size. So it's an A4, not... US letter, but A4 paper that's been cut in half essentially. So three uh, colors, six uh, sheets in total, and then with the pattern paper, a little bit lighter weight, so maybe 60, 65 pounds, single sided, and we get four different patterns here. And you can see that's the one that's the predominant one the, that's on the box, it's um, the one on the folder and everything. So we get that and you can see how well um, it coordinates with the various solid color card. So both of those are in here. And then um, I'll just use a couple of these to show the stamp set. Actually before I get to the stamp set there's, there's some cooler some more cool stuff back here. So we've got um, two A5 sheets of glitter card. So it's subtle the difference, but um, hopefully you can kind of see one is a lighter um, pink and then the other is, uh, it's still a light pink, but it's darker than this. It's almost as if, um, you know, the, the card base here is maybe like a cream or a white, but it's got pink glitter and that's what kind of gives it a little bit of that pink hue um, whereas this maybe start off with pink card and then has um, the same glitter mix over it I don't know but I mean they're both white on the back and they're really pretty thick and just like a little bit of shedding I saw one one little glitter but really not a lot um, and so we get two half sheets of that and then we also get um, a sheet of sort of garden um, themed die cuts and then in this pack is also a sheet of acetate and it's the thick acetate it's the really nice acetate that I uh, is similar to the one that I really like and that I hoard and save from crafters companion boxes which is perfect for pop-up boxes which is what this um, entire kit is themed around is being able to create like these flower or floral pop-up boxes and the really uh, stiff you know uh, thicker acetate is really nice for if you're trying to create that illusion of something being suspended in midair. So if you wanted like a um, butterfly, you know, floating over your flowers, the acetate that's really strong like this one uh, is going to be perfect from that for that because it's going to be able to hold up your die cut and stand straight up. So that's going to be really nice. And then I'll... Um, kind of show the the die set which is um uh, again sort of on a a5 sh uh, sheet and the stamp set is also on an a5 sheet what's really nice about this kit um and one thing that i find a little bit different between this kit and tonic studio kits is that the dies are really comprehensive you could use them by themselves and create a lot of really fun projects the stamp set is very comprehensive and you could use it by itself uh, to create comprehensive and fun projects as well. Um, so it's not that one just complements the other. I find that with the Tonic Studio kits, um, the way that I see it anyways is that the dies seem to be kind of the main element and then the stamps just coordinate with it and help um, provide you with all the things like sentiments and other um, accents to round out um, your card making or your paper crafting. But I find that in um, 
at least this kit in particular, I don't know if it's a standard with Paper Craft Society, but I feel like if you are uh, not into die cutting, you could just use the stamps on their own and you would have everything that you need. You've got sentiments, you've got, you know, uh, small stamps to create backgrounds, you've got larger stamps that you can create like a more central focal image from. And in this case, we have sentiments for every occasion. There's retirement, get well soon, Easter, birthday, anniversary, uh, special day, very general, <laughs> um, just for you. You've got everything here. And I love that we have different um, scale of uh, graphics. So you've got larger butterflies and smaller you know, silhouette butterflies and even tiny ones. You've got large flowers and you've got um, smaller sort of arrangements and then small sort of individual um, floral elements. So you could definitely use that on its own. And similarly with the dies, you've got your main worker die that cuts out your box and puts all your score lines in. What's awesome is you also get all these border dies that's re that um, is really cool. So you, we have a scalloped almost arch and you can use that by itself or with the um, sort of a pierce pattern in that mimics that scallop shape and then you get something really similar but in a straight line on a smaller scale so two straight border dies um, that cut really nice little patterns and um, you know the flowers and leaves and stuff like that you could definitely use for 3d flower forming so we've got three different flowers in um, the same shape but different sizes so anytime I see that I immediately think about 3D flower shaping, foam flowers, things like that. So I'm going to be really excited to maybe create some foam flowers from this one. And it's a shape of flower that I don't happen to already have. So that's one thing that really um, kind of drew me to this kit. And I love, um, you know, daisies. They're my favorite flower. And uh, this kind of reminds me of um, daisy flowers. So then we also have um, butterflies. And the beautiful thing is, is that the stamp and die sets do coordinate. So there are things that um, coordinate between the two. So we've got, um, you know, these two butterflies have dies that will cut them out. The um, stamped flower you can die cut that out as well so if you didn't want to do 3d flower forming you could just stamp color and um, die cut and there's two stamps and two flowers those perfectly line up and then the bee here also has a coordinating stamp or a coordinating die and it looks like the die for the bee has some debossing features as well because some of the metal inside the uh, body of the bee looks raised. And so when you run that through your die cutting machine, it's actually going to push uh, the cardstock in and kind of give you um, some extra detailing. So you could probably use this on its own and then maybe color over your die cut, or you can stamp and color and then die cut. So uh, a couple different options there. And then there are even dies for um, sort of the stamen or the center of the flowers. And it looks like these might coordinate back to the stamps as well, because there's three different size um, stamens uh, in the stamp set too. So um, what else is there? Oh, so there's um, little floral sprays and leaves and whatnot, but you get these two plant markers so you have this one style, which you could almost use as a chat bubble too, if you wanted. And then you have this style. And then we have a word die, the word B. So you could do be happy. And then we have a grass kind of um, edger die. It's not very long. It's maybe a, an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter or so, but you could definitely tile this, right? So you could die cut once, shift it down um, to meet up with uh, the edge that was previously cut and then die cut again. And then in that way you can make um, it as long as you want. And then we get individual dies for um, the word happy, which is nice because you could die cut this and then use the letters that are cut out, or you could arrange these um, very 
you know, partic- you know, specifically in a pattern and uh, use the negative uh, space that was die cut out as your primary image. So um, let's say, yeah, so this arch looks like it would work perfectly because there's five um, scallops. So you could put, you know, H, A, P, P, Y and line it up really, you know, precisely with the curvature of uh, the arc here and die cut that and um, use the negative um, as your main image as opposed to using the letters. You would still have your letters and then you could use that on a different project. So it's nice that they gave us both P's so that you could just line everything up and then run it through your die cutting machine twice as opposed to only giving us one P and then you, if you want to spell out the word happy you'd have to run it through once, um, take out all the letters and then uh, die cut a second time to get your second P. So really nice that they did that. So this is such a really fun um, kit. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got stamps, it's got dies, it's got pattern paper, stencil, um, it has media items, embellishments. I feel like it's great uh, value for money. And, and as I mentioned, I think one thing that seems unique and I don't know if it's just unique to this specific kit or um, if this is just in general because I haven't experienced too many of the Paper Craft Society kits, but I do really love the fact that your stamp set is very full and comprehensive on its own and then your die set is very full and comprehensive on its own. And um, you get even more versatility by combining the two. So really really awesome i have some birthday cards that i need to make uh that are coming up soon so i actually might um between the two paper craft society kits that i purchased i might dive into this one first and make some birthday cards with it so when i get to um those projects i'll be sure to turn on my camera and share with you what i made and when i have that video posted i will link to it at the end of this one Thank you so much for joining me and until my next video, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.